Hokies prevail tonight by the final score of 66-61. They gutted out over Miami to improve to 10-7 and in the ACC, eclipse their win total from a year ago as they improved to 21-8. and We're now joined by head coach Buzz Williams. And, Coach, obviously congratulations on the victory here tonight. Exceptionally hard fought and persistent effort from your team. How's the emotional and physical gas tank? Because as you just told us, you're worn out, and the team just absolutely willed themselves, it seemed like, to this one tonight. I think that was all it was. Um, I think they're spent. Uh, a lot has went on over the last couple of weeks, and multiple times, for whatever reason, during that uh, time period, they could have stopped. And um, not saying I was a prophet relative to – the emotional gas tank or mental gas tank or physical gas tank. But uh, when you look at the complexion of our roster and you look at five out of our seven games this month were on the road, so that meant that 10 out of the last 27 days we were traveling, that's a lot. And uh, that has nothing to do with all of the different things that were at stake. Um, I, I, I didn't think that we played very good. Uh, I, th I think Ty offensively obviously was incredible. Um, but I do think that they just willed themselves to it. You talked about earlier it's so difficult. One of the toughest things in life is to flip something from the absolute bottom. And now you're sitting here with 21 wins, 21 and 8. You're 10 and 7 in the league. You're 15 and 1 at home. Just think of what you've been able to do. I mean, sooner or later that's going to set in at some point. And you'll have to smile about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't mean any of that in a negative way or condescending way. Uh, I'm incredibly humbled uh, that God has orchestrated and ordained all of the things that have transpired. Uh, I think that it would be a little selfish, not a little 1,000% selfish on my part to think that uh, it was me. Um, it wasn't. Uh, you, you, you have to rewind to all of the stories uh, that led to this, and you have to rewind to uh, all that transpired in year one. And then you have to think through all of the things uh, that happened in year two. And uh, I think the thing that you have to be careful of is uh, that you're not content. Uh, I mean this in the right way. In this league – uh, if you can make it through this league, then then uh, maybe on the other side there's some more. And uh, I, I think our dreams have to be bigger than just making it. And that's not to put pressure on our program. I think what we've done speaks for itself. And uh, I don't know, uh, because of how I'm perceived, if nationally our kids have gotten the recognition they deserve. And that's okay. Um None of it has been recognized, in my opinion. And that's fine uh, because we're not doing it for them. Uh, we're doing it for one another. We're doing it to represent our institution. We're doing it to represent all of the former players and the alumni. We're doing it for the fans, the students. Uh, and all of those sections of people are incredibly important. But most importantly, we're doing it for one another. And I think that uh, – you can see the spirit and you can feel the love, even if you don't even know anything about basketball. But most people know what a team is, and uh, it's not hard to detect or to determine uh, when people are working incredibly hard for one another. And, uh, yeah, maybe when it's all said and done, burn up, uh, when we have a chance to kind of flesh it all out, it'll be fun to talk about. Maybe we can have a uh, tech talk in <laughs> May sometime and – Get an extra extended version, and let's just get together and, and have a barbershop talk. But uh, in the midst of it, the thing I just told our team and the thing that we prayed about is we want time to go real slow. And the reason we want it to go real slow is there's a lot, a lot, a lot of life lessons to learn. And uh, if this was all about ball, then it looks pretty good. Hey, we're 21 and 8, and we're 10 and 7, and all those things you rattled off, man, that's good. But that's not what this is. Uh, there's a lot of things that they will acquire wisdom from for their life. And in the end, uh, that's what's most important. 
And Ty Outlaw, really the embodiment of a walking life lesson right now in resilience and toughness and handling adversity. But to get more schematic about it tonight, Outlaw played just 11 minutes in the first matchup. Chris Clark played a team high 36. Obviously, that's the X for X substitution in terms of the minute dispersal here tonight. It seemed like it benefited that Miami so good ball pressure defense chased you off the three-point line but looked at Ty somewhat like the fourth option. And before they switched Davon Reed onto him, he was in one of those zones you can't get a guy out of. Yeah, it's pretty impressive if you shoot 80% from three, particularly if, you, <laughs> if that's 10 attempts. <laughs> yeah. And the, uh, the they did misses. change. You're right. They did change, and uh, that changed what we needed to do. And uh, I thought Seth and Zach were really good in that change specifically. Obviously, playing without five, he's been playing at a really high clip. Uh, playing without him in the minutes that we are accustomed to, not only offensively but defensively, it in addition to the quick turnaround and all of those other things, it, it, it added another potential negative wrinkle. And I thought that the guys that did have the heavy uh, lifting tonight um, did just enough. Now you had to be encouraged because you had that 7-0 run with <coughs> J-Rob on the bench, and then you come back and you have a 6-0 run on J-Rob on the bench, and he goes out with that fourth foul at 13-19. Had to be encouraging for the other guys to come on. And he only turns it over, I think, three times in the second half and did a much better job rebounding in the second half. Yeah, uh, you know, they they really hurt us on the offensive glass like most teams. Uh, that was important. Uh, as we always talk about, our turnover rate is one of the ways that we can limit their offensive rebounding because we need to get a shot every time. And just like tonight, they shot 12 more shots than we do. Part of that is because we're attempting so many free throws, but part of that is because our turnover rate is too high. Obviously, in the second half, much, much different. And uh, that was kind of what we talked about at halftime. We need to get a shot every possession. And it doesn't matter if it's Miami or any other team. If we can get a shot every possession with the way that we're playing offensively, our offense is then helping our defense, and that's what we need because when we have a live ball turnover, not only is it one less shot attempt for us, but it's one more shot attempt for them. And not only is it one less shot attempt for us, but it's a missed opportunity to draw a foul. Buzz Williams is with us. His Hokies knock off Miami, who was ranked number 25 coming into this game. 66-61 is the final last one for Coach Williams. Coach, the last thing that Mike and I generally do before we go on the air is we chat with your beautiful wife, Corey, <laughs> and we get her thoughts on the night. Tonight, Mike asked, how are you feeling? And she said, nervous. I yeah. know you guys feel good about where we're at, but I'm a little bit nervous. How gratifying is it? She's standing just to my left right now, as I say this. Your oldest daughter, Zara, is standing right over to my right to enjoy what Mike was talking about earlier and all that you've done with those people so close to you. Well, uh, Corey's the head coach, <laughs> and uh, – of she, course, she said. She's got she's got more of a pulse, uh, <laughs> and text our kids just as much as I do. Uh, she's completely bought in. Um, on earth, it's probably the most important decision is who you marry. And, yeah, uh, I would agree with that. I married the right one. You did, Coach. Go give her another hug on your way to the back. Congratulations, Thank man. Thank you. Awesome to watch and be a part of. Six